We can get Claude code and MCP server easily. They make it super easy. You just paste in a few command lines. To get started, it's just good to just run the list command. So we'll run Claude MCP list and we'll see what MP in, in, there's no servers configured at this time. And so we can add the server by uh, running MCP add. And so I will do that real quick. And here is our MCP add command, pubnub, and then a couple of environmental variables using MPX and the MP MCP server. Here we go, we'll click enter and we did it. So we've added the server, it's good to go. And now all you have to do is run Claude and it will have it up and running for you. And now we can ask it uh, to, to perform tasks for us. So you say, uh, write a, no, we gotta spell it, write a PubNub app, a chat app that includes presence indication with a green dot next to the, the user's name. That, that actually, that should be enough. Um, now what's gonna happen is, uh, it's gonna start thinking, it's gonna ask us to run our MCP server. So we're gonna sit here and we're gonna watch, uh, it might ask us some questions, it's gonna ask us for more uh, acknowledgements. So yes, we want it to uh, run these commands and these is informative commands that allows the AI to understand how to build the, uh, the, the app that we just asked it to build. So it's gonna build a chat app for us, right? So it's gonna build an app that allows us to um, chat with users, and we'll also be able to see if they're online. Now it is getting, it's asking me the same question quite often, so they're just looking up a lot of different resources. So we'll just ask it to not ask again, uh, and it should be a little more streamlined. So let's uh, let's see how it goes. Oh, all right, so go ahead and keep keep going. Don't, all right, here we go. It's, uh, it's getting a little more information. I think it knows enough now. Yeah, so it knew to pull the right information, such as the presence, because we asked for that information. We, we wanted that feature en enabled because we want that green dot next to the user's icon uh, and their name in a list. So let's see, let's see how it goes. Let's see what it does. All right, now it's writing code for us. So I'm going to say go ahead and continue writing without asking any more permissions. Excellent. It's got the most up-to-date information, the most latest SDK version. Oh, nice. It's going to write a readme for us. Oh, it's done. Excellent. Okay. Let's see how it did. Okay. So I've got here on the screen, it uh, looks like we've got an index HTML file and a readme. Uh, let's go in the readme, see what it says really quick. Uh, Real-time messages, users press an indicator with a green dot for online, simple clean UI, no server required because PubNote's being used. So we just open index HTML and it should be working. Now I wanna just read the code real quick. So let's look at the code in index HTML. So it's a full page app, um, single page. Here's the user interface. We've got a chat room. Uh, let's see here. And it's already got my API keys, which is great. It's ready to go. So let's let's see what happens when we open index.html. Okay, it's asking me to enter my name and let's join the chat. All right, let's say hello. Let's see if that works. It works. Okay, excellent. <laughs> uh, now let's open up a new window and we will say this is player B. We'll join and say, oh, we even see that the, the, the original user is online. So we say, Hi, hi, Steven. Let's see if that works. So I send my message and the other screen, it says, so we see, hi, Steven. And then we can say hi back and it worked. What's great about this is I didn't have to write any code. I didn't even have to edit or save a file. I just asked the AI to do a simple task for me. And now what I can do is I can go in and iteratively uh, run further updates. I can do more things. I can ask it to, change the colors, I can add more features. Um, so it, like, for example, I noticed that there was no history uh, when my, my user joined in, so I can add some history. Um, so that way, every time I jump in to the application, it knows what I said previously. So let's try it, let's just see, uh, add history to the chat window so that we, we can, we wanna, we, we wanna be able to see, um, previous messages. Now it should know to maybe read some more docs. We already gave it permission to read the docs. So it might go ahead and do that. And it should update and modify. Oh, look at that. It's actually already working. It's doing what we asked it to do, which is so great. It's a very satisfying experience. You just sit here and, and you watch it code and it does all, all the work for you. Often it's, uh, 
it's great. You can ask it to do the task. It does take a while. It takes a little, a little bit of time. And you can go off and do another task, you know, read messages, catch up on emails, come back, and it will be ready to go. And this is it. It's uh, added some uh, history messages, handle messages. So we should be able to see it working.